So let's pick the job which I'll choose Chicago because Chicago is near to uh, where is here again uh, Nashville yeah Chicago is right next door to uh, Nashville so yeah just a little short jump you can see the map there is a point just give it to you and also if you look at your right hand side there's a orange arrow that means you got your log and you need to pick it up so let's do that 50 miles per hour and I'm already speeding so yeah what truck could do is just back it up no not putting right in to the I mean just go straight in and just head to head to the trailer no this is a trailer not a what is that bumper car yeah not a bumper car this got no engine but that because it need a truck to pull it and here we go we got the trailer connected it's a small tanker to Chicago so let's not waste our time let's rock and roll 50 miles per hour I hope you will be enjoying this game in the future in the future. I know that some some people that can't figure figure this game out because there's something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it for sure because there's something that you need to know about it. So yeah, it's a little bit weird but it's or oh, it's just fine it's fine so yeah hope you enjoy this game and get more truck but the better the new truck the best the faster you go more powerful you got and really make a lot of money So I'll meet you at Nash. No wait, we're going to Chicago. So yeah, I'll meet you uh, in Chicago. See you there. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot about the jeep brake, right? When you're in fourth gear, you see the rearview mirror. You got smoke coming out. It's fan fucking fantastic and legit and realistic. Yeah, even fifth gear got it. If I can wrap it up, and here you go. Smoke come out. It's really nice. So yeah, it's a really nice game. Jig Brick is really good. Everything is fantastic. Also, even the speed though, in this truck is a little bit wonky, but hey, oh, we still can see it. So, there's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah. And see you in Chicago. We are almost at Chicago! Finally! How far is it? It's just is the, about 300 miles later. We arrive in Chicago. Yep. 
is the majestic intercession which got over overpass and each end we got a freaking hill check out this bitch and Chicago right here every city got two warehouses to deliver so yeah and we are going to watch the difficult one because the, the GPS just tell me that this is going to be great because I remember that place is very tight very tight in the entrance or oh, the exit this is very tight so I hope I can get this trailer in and not damage anything else you know why I don't want to damage anything damage anything jeez I can't speak yeah you will know why I don't want to damage any, anything from my truck to my trailer later on so let's get past through these lights so yeah the warehouse is in front of us so I hope I can do it right and let's say let's I, let me say for the final word What could possibly go wrong? Well, we can damage my truck and trailer. That's what is going to go wrong. So, so yeah, let's do it. Not supposed to stop here. Oh, there we go, very tight, watch the left and just hit it, god damn it. When you hit it, I got nothing to do, just back it out and try that all over again. But this time, a wider turn. Yeah, you can, pump, you can probably just take or fourth lane or even the curve if you want but I won't I'll do it the right way because cars and trucks are not supposed to be going on the sidewalk and here we go we are in the warehouse A drop in location will be show as green like this one yes and I prefer to put this trailer at the back of my at the back instead of my truck because after you plug it in the trailer doesn't these this bone. What, what it means that the trailer will stay here forever until you left or get another job. So this is very important that you do it the correct way or else you'll get trapped inside the trailer and you have to Austin power yourself to get out you don't want to do that for sure and watch me jackknife this thing let's do it one more time
to as quick as we can. Try to steer the trail to the right as possible, and I hit it again. Never mind. Let's try to straighten this thing or dig out. Sometimes these try can be pain in the ass if you can't do it right. That's why that's how the auto pack can be handy because you do need to pack it yourself. A little bit damage. That's all right. And let's break this tank up. And make an explosion and no way. No way that would be happening. And here we go. We got the seven thousand dollars we drive. Three hundred and ten miles we got seven thousand seventy nine dollars. We complete the job we got one hundred XP. No them which well, we got damaged because I just hit the side of the, my truck and I sh scrape the tanker. So that's why I don't want to get damaged. And we got 150 XP for parking. So this is why I don't use auto park because I can get the bonus. So yeah, about the truck, let's get fixed. So let's just jump into the repair yard in Chicago. Let's miss the stop sign. Here we go, we are arriving. We are a block away from the repair in Chicago. Yeah, it's really different from the others because this is a special repair. Yeah, you got no truck wash because not every truck repair yard got a truck wash. And here you go, this is the repair yard, and the race, the CB radio is yelling again. We drove up to this. This is a real thing in the real world. You have to drive up to get the repair. So yeah, let's get it done. I'll wish you later. I'm back again, and the truck got fixed. So yeah, what do you think about Truck Simulator USA? It's a really nice game, although there's some little bit bug with this uh, speedo and the other things. And you have to learn how to back a trailer in. So yeah, for the trucker, if you want to try it out, go ahead. It's a really nice game for you guys. and. Realistic because the drip, if even the jig break, sound like a real drip, jig break, in the real world. So yeah, hope you enjoy the game, and yeah, this is Bus Hotel Twenty Three, and I will see you next time. See ya.